Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this motion chain animated welcome slide in PowerPoint. That is what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial. So we're going to create everything step by step. Now let's jump right into this. So I'm open. So I just open PowerPoint and what we're going to do is that we're going to go to design, go to design and then go under shapes, pick a rectangular shape and then draw a rectangular shape to cover your entire slide. Now go to the shape field, under shape field, just make sure you select any of these gray colors over here, pick any gray color from here and then make sure you also set the gradient too. So go under gradient and then pick from center, I'm going to use from center and under shape outline, select no outline. So go ahead and then go to insert and then pick any text box, so draw a text box and then type welcome. Type welcome and then make sure you change them and then make sure you change the fonts to a very bold font. In this case, I'm going to use Anton and then increase the font size. Just increase the font size to any size, any size that you prefer. So in my case, I'm going to increase it to something like this. Don't let it overlap. So this is perfectly what I want. And then what we want to do next is also to add another text. So go back to insert and then add another text draw another text here draw another text and this text should be welcome to our presentation so type the presentation down here and then also make sure this is bold and the font group go to the character spacing and the character spacing click on the arrow and go to more spacing and then let's change the spacing let's put it around 20 and then click on ok okay that is cool and I want to just select the center that's the welcome and then my shape and then you can equally go to the shape format and then you can go to under under align and then you can center align this and then right away we can place right away we can place this text that's the welcome to our presentation just place the one beneath this like this that is cool now let me zoom out a bit on this and then let's go add our image now for the image you can actually go online and search for image i i got all my images from pizzles it has no copyright issue so you can go and search for landscape here and then use that so let's come back to our presentation now let's go to the set tab and go to images and then let's select the image from our pc so i'm going to select the first image you need two images for this so i'm going to select the first one and then add this first one right here so now for the first one you can just right click here just right click and go to send to back so make sure you add this image behind everything like this so this image is actually behind everything so now first of all what i want to do next is that i'm not going to select my shape select the shape select the text here select all the text and now we actually going to go to shape format and then under shape format go to the insert shapes group and then under mesh shapes go to subtract so when you subtract this it should give you something like this you should get something similar to what i have over here you can see we have our image being displayed right here under the text now let's add our second image so go back to insert and then go to pictures and then go to this pc so i'm going to select the second image this is the second image i'm actually going to add it right here now we actually need to place this side by side so i have to zoom in i have to zoom out and then i can place my next text my next image next to the other one like this so we're going to position them side by side we have the first image here now for to make this visible i'll select this shape that's this shape and then go to shape format and then i want to add some effect to this so go to shape and then go to shadow and then let's pick this one right here the offset so we can see this as well now we have our two images we want this to pass under this so when we move this one we should see this one moving under the text so what you need to do is i can place this one a bit on top and right click and then go to send to back here and then let's go to send to back so this time around if i move this image you can see it's actually passing through the text but we are not done yet we need to actually animate this so what we want to do is that we want to place our moving text so we need to go to shape and then pick some rectangular shape pick the rectangular shape here and then just draw a rectangular shape like a bar moving so we need to get this and then make sure you select the fill color to black 
and then for the outline let's set the outline towards no outline like this remember the fill color is set it to black i prefer black and then after that just move it between this the two shapes like this now this is where the animation is going to happen remember to subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification if you like this video give me a thumb up now select this this image and then select your shape together and then let's now go to animation and then another animation go to add animation for this option scroll down to the motion paths and select lines for the effects under effect option make sure you select what's left we want it to move to the left and then let's set the duration to about what? six seconds so select the duration to about six seconds now this is where the work is going to happen now click on this arrow that's the arrow here select that and then move it make sure you select the arrow and then move it all the way to the left move it all the way to the left like this so move this arrow to the left like this okay and then we're equally going to do the same for this image so select this arrow make sure you select this arrow don't move the shape but select and click on this arrow we are only clicking on the arrow and then we select your image and then move it also to the left like this so now we have this two set up perfectly and now what i want to do is that let's now come back and then move this closer to our path and then you can also do the same thing for this as well okay so now everything now set up and now to actually play this animation just click on animation over here or you can just go to slide here slide here and you can say from beginning and can play your animation so let's play this and see how this is going to look like so you can see the arrow just move through like this and then that is basically how we want our text effect to look like subscribe if you like this you give me a thumb up and then if you enjoy my video also share with friends and comment at the comment section let me know what you know about what you like about this video till i come away again bye bye